The courageous class, sometimes referred as the glorious class, was the first class of aircraft carriers in the Royal Navy as the previous ships were on offs. Originally laid down as the courageous class battle cruisers during the First World War, they were planned with minimal armor and only a few guns. Furious only had two 18 inch main guns and single turrets. The ship was partially converted during the war and her reconstruction to a flashlight deck carrier began in 1921. Then in 1939, a small island was added on the starboard side as it proved to be useful on other aircraft carriers. Another problem with Furious was the location of the funnels as it ran along the ship and ended in the stern, which made landing on the ship much more difficult as it was harder to see the flight deck. This design also made the hangar smaller. Her half-sisters, Glorious and Courageous, began conversion into aircraft carriers as Furious was almost complete. These two ships received an island with funnel when they were completed compared to Furious. Furious was extensively used to evaluate aircraft landing and handling procedures, including the first carrier night landing in 1926. Furious, in its original carrier configuration, had two small flight decks, one for launching and one for landing aircraft. A large island and funnel was built in the middle of the ship. Landing proved to be almost impossible because of the strong air current around the superstructure and the exhaust gases from the funnel. Then it was reconstructed as mentioned before. All were in service as carriers by 1925. Standard displacement was at around 24,600 tons for Glorious and Courageous, while Furious had 26,900 tons at standard displacement. Overall length was 239.8 meters, beam at 27.6 meters, and draft at 8.5 meters. 18 Yarrow boilers generated 90,000 shaft horsepower. Four shafts connected to four geared steam turbines gave the ships the speed of 30 knots. Armament for Glorious and Courageous consisted of 16 single 4.7 inch anti aircraft guns. Furious had 10 single 5.5 inch and 6 single 4 inch guns. Two elevators were added and the flight deck was rounded at the bow. Furious carried 36 aircraft and both Courageous and Glorious carried 48 aircraft. This pair also featured a short flying off deck from the upper hangar level, mostly for fighters as strike aircraft needed longer flight decks. By 1927, Furious received four single 40mm pom-poms, but during the September 1930 to February 1932 refit, Furious changed the single mounts for a pair of eight barrel pom-poms. All three ships operated in the Mediterranean and the Atlantic. During World War II, Furious received a total of 22 20mm Orlicans, which replaced some 50 caliber machine guns. During the mid-1930s refits, the two other ships received multiple pom-poms as well. During World War II, Furious received a Type 290 air search radar. In the early days of World War II, Courageous was part of a hunter-killer group to find and destroy German U-boats. On September 17, 1939, two torpedoes from the submarine U-29 hit the carrier and Courageous sank as the first British warship of the Second World War. Glorious was sent to hunt the pocket battleship Graf Spee in the Indian Ocean, and after no success, she was sent back to the Mediterranean. Glorious was recalled to the home fleet in April 1940 to provide air cover for the British forces landing in Norway. On April 27th, Glorious had to return to refuel and receive new aircraft. Glorious returned on May 18th, but retreated again on May 21st. A few days later, the British forces were ordered to withdraw. On June 8, 1940, Glorious, Acasta, and Arden got spotted by the German battleships Scharnhorst and Gneisenau. All three ships were sunk in the engagement. This was one of two times a battleship and aircraft carrier faced off with cannon fire. Only 43 crew from the carrier survived. Furious was ordered to hunt Gneisenau on October 8, but the task was unsuccessful. Furious was then sent off to join the battleship Royal Oak in Scapa Flow, but the battleship was sunk by U-47 on October 14th. Furious joined the home fleet off the coast of Norway on April 10th, and her torpedo bombers attacked German ships in Narvik multiple times. On June 14, 1940, the carrier sailed unescorted to Halifax, Nova Scotia, carrying 18 million pounds worth of gold. Then she ferried aircraft from Halifax to Iceland. Then Furious carried fighters to reinforce Egypt. She then joined a convoy which encountered the German heavy cruiser Admiral Hipper on December 25th. The German ship retreated after a battle with convoy escorts. Furious then joined our coil and they would do operations in the Mediterranean. Then came the Operation Pedestal, a large convoy headed for Malta. Then her last operation was Operation Torch in 1942 and her aircraft neutralized the airfields at La Senia and Tafraoui in Algeria. She remained with Force H until February 1943 before transferring to the home fleet where she remained until the end of the war. On April 3, 1944, Furious and Victorious attacked the battleship Tirpitz in Norway. 
Furious was placed in the reserve on September 15, 1944. The ship was scrapped in 1954.